Bossing, skilling, guides. <laughs> hey guys, what is up? It is Skizzy, and welcome to another video. Uh, it's been a pretty long time, I guess, for me. Um, seeing as I, I used to post daily, sometimes two times a day. Um, this video is kind of like a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. I just never got around to doing it. It has to do with the drain rate of specific items and I wanted to get down to, because I, I like doing calculations. You know, you guys know I love doing calculations and stuff and I wanted to actually figure out how, and, and this has been done before, but I wanted to put it on one of my videos so that it was out there uh, for you guys, is to to look at the drain rate of each of these items now, I don't know exactly how this is calculated, but I, and I tried to figure it out, but I couldn't find any numbers. I think it's based on, I mean, obviously, Jagex has their own formulas and stuff for each, you know, drain rate, but uh, the wiki has been nice enough to actually have some numbers on, on it so we can use. So I just want to make sure that my spreadsheet is, you know, at least very similar to the... Um, the actual number numbers here. So this is a tier 70 item. And from what I understand, the items are actually based off of tier 80. So I want to see if I have any of those in my inventory. I don't think I do. I think I have tier 85 and tier 90, tier 92. Uh, and I have tier 70. But I think everything is really based off of tier 80. And they kind of offset like 5%. Um, not 5%, uh, half, and then it, it bases off of the 80, level 80, and then it goes down to tier 75, then tier 70, but on the other spectrum, it goes to 85 and then 90, but also there's, I guess, tier 92 as well, so I'm not exactly sure how it's based off of, but uh, from what I know, um, it, it, it's very, I want to make sure this is similar. So we have tier 70, uh, it's level 1, and it is 1 charge per second. Now if we go to the wiki, and it might be hard to see, but this is tier 70, and this is item level 1 through 4, because you do get a reduction at level 5, it is a 10% reduction. Um, and of course I'm level 120 on that account, so we, we have the reduction 9, which is 105, and for a main hand... Uh, which is what a whip is, uh, as well as armor. It should be one drain, uh, one charge per second, right? So that that's looking good. Next, I want to look at a tier 90 item. So this one is level 15, so it just goes over the threshold. Uh, wait, no, I can't do this because it is <laughs> it's a degree to death, so I can't do that at all. But what I can do is this one here, and it will have a I can't do that one either, can I? All right. Um, this one. All right. So this one has a charge drain of 3.74 uh, per second. And it is a tier 85 item. And it's level 1. So if I go to the chart on the wiki, you just type in here your tier, which would be 85. For me, submit. It will give you that, that graph here. And then we go down to... Uh, this one would be a two-hander, and it's you know it's kind of close. It it says 3.74 on the game, and it says 3.75 here. I'm sure it's probably just a rounding error, but um, yeah, so fairly accurate. And then we can look at a tier 90 offhand, which is 1.5 uh, charge drain per second. It's level three, so it doesn't have the 10% reduction or anything like that. Uh, and then if we go look at the tier 90 uh, for a level 1 through 4. So this is the top chart. And at level 9, it is 1.5 for an offhand, which is good. So I'm basing all of my calculations off of the wiki's numbers. Uh, it'll be in the description for you to look at, as well as the, the Excel spreadsheet that I'm going to use as well. I also want to note that the spreadsheet that I'm using on Excel is actually taken from uh, Chi Papa's uh, drain rate calculation. If you look here, 
Uh, he has his own spreadsheet. I'll link that also in the description as well as mine. But his numbers are a little off. I'm not sure where he got his numbers, but they're a little off from the wiki. His might actually be correct, and wiki could be wrong. But uh, for all intents and purposes, I'm going to use uh, the wiki's numbers because it, it lines up more with uh, the actual charges in-game that I can see right now. All that being said, I did uh, in, uh, export his his spreadsheet into an Excel file, and let me make this a little bigger, into an Excel file, uh, file and I based it off of the tier 80, uh, because that's what I believe it is based off of, really, and then you can uh, base the tier 70 off of that being half of uh, tier 80, but the tier 80 itself is based off of these multipliers, and these are multipliers that I just made up out of the blue, um, which sounds weird, but it's it basically i used it to match the wiki numbers so if you look at the wiki these are the exact numbers for tier 80 main hand and armor drain rate per second um again i couldn't really find why these are like this why his were 0.747 divided by 0.6 other than it was probably you know trial and error on his part where he looked at how many um drain charge or charges that he lost per tick based on um trial and error but for all intents and purposes i'm not going to uh, spend hour and hours and hours on testing that just to get a rough idea of how much you're going to be spending per item per set whatever it depends on uh what items you're using and the whole goal of this video is so that both you and i are not spending way too much money on our gear than uh, for specific bosses like say we go to Vindicta and it's five five to eight mil an hour and you're spending eight mil an hour on your armor for whatever reason um, you're you're not making any money at whatsoever and and one of the reasons why I'm making this video is because I noticed that I wasn't really making that much money even when I was doing high tier PVM uh, I was spending a lot of money, and I didn't know where I was spending it. So I want to uh, rule out or rule in that this is a way that you're that I was losing a lot of money. So this is the base spreadsheet, and then we also have the level item level five spreadsheet, which is based off the base item level fourteen and item level eighteen. So this actually doesn't include tier ninety two for whatever reason, but it doesn't. It, it it's weird because when I go to my item. Let's go to my um, my best item in game. It's a level 20 item, which means it's higher than the level 18, and it should have a drain reduction lower than what it is right now. So I don't really understand why it's 4.08 per second, but this is what it is in game, unless they're doing it incorrectly in game and it's a different number. But for now, I'm just going to try to get it to 4.08 for tier 92. Okay, so I just took a look at this and I realized that there was no tier 92. Um, so the 4.08 on my main account didn't really make any sense, and that's why. So what I've done is I um, I made another column basically uh, for tier 92, and approximately it's going to be 3.2 times whatever tier 70 was, uh, which kind of makes sense because when you go over here and you look at the tier... Uh, 92 uh, two-handed for a level 18 uh, you do get the 4.08 which is what we have for the augmented staff of let's get level 20 and I just want to make sure that it is kind of correct I have a level 6 item which means it has the level 5 advantage of uh, getting 10% reduction so this is 4.32 per second let's go check if that's correct and would you look at that that looks like it should be correct this is 105 so level 9 reduction at a item level of 5 on the tier 92 slot is 4.32 so it looks like the the it's pretty pretty much on the money with that as far as um two of my uh tier 92s go if we want we can check it again with actually a level let's see if my offhand kopesh is correct so here we have a level 2 augmented Kopesh of Illidinus, which has a charge drain of 
uh, per second. So that's under the level five. So we have one at 18, one at five, and then one at level one, basically. Uh, so I just want to check to see if that's the 1.6. So this will be on the base. It'll be actually, it'll be an offhand. It won't be a main hand. So let's see if this one's actually correct. And wow, it is actually correct. So I'm pretty happy with those results. It kind of makes sense. And I had three things to check on it. So I'm pretty happy with how this spreadsheet looks. Um, I am going to delete the efficient three and then the efficient three will level five because I haven't worked on that. But this is a direct export from Cheap Papa's uh, on his, uh, his document on Google. Uh, he doesn't have the tier 92 on here though. So I've added that and uh, hopefully that helps you guys and now that we've done all the calculations and stuff you kind of understand or i kind of understand what's going on i can now say well how much is it going to cost me per hour per item which is down here already he did this very nicely i just did a copy and paste down here so let's say i have um my staff is list gates level 18 or level 20 whatever um, the money is based off of this charge being 63 and a half thousand GP, which is what it's at right now. Um, so it cost me 310,000, uh, GP per hour just for my staff of Sliske. So that's just one item. So I'm going to come back once I've gotten together kind of like a gear setup, and then I'll tell you how much it costs to upkeep it, not just to buy it, but to upkeep it. Now the way augmented tier 90 degree to dust armor works, it's it's a little different um, and it really depends on how much you get hit and how much you actually um, are using the item. Basically, it, it, I believe it's based on how much you get hit. So if you're attacking a boss that doesn't hit you very much like Virago, so this, this is gonna, it's gonna behave just like the degraded armor used to from what I understand. So it has no drain rate, but you do have um, you do have charges. And a trick you can do is when you are almost done uh, with this piece of item, so it's at 99,000 charges and you're about to um, you're about to lose this, you can siphon it and then you can get it from level zero or level one, I guess, level one all the way up to level 10 and then you have to disassemble this. So Depending on the boss that you're killing, and if this series goes well, uh, and you guys want to have more information on this sort of thing, or if you're just happy and content knowing a ballpark number that you're going to be spending if you use specific items, please let me know in the comments anyways, either way. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it kind of at like a ballpark number, and I think if you have a full set of tectonic, costs around 90 mil to purchase all of it, and to get your augmenters and all that stuff, not including the perks and all that stuff. Um, just a straight 90 mil for the helm, chest, and legs. Then you're looking at about 90 mil uh, just to do that, and it will last anywhere from 50 to 75 hours, depending on where you use it. So that's 1.8 mil just in those pieces of armor. That's not including the Reaper necklace, the Death Touch bracelet, the boots, the scrimshaw, all of that stuff the runes your switches and it's not even including the item but we looked earlier this item specifically um, once you get it to level 20 which is the best bet you're gonna get um, a level 20 item you're gonna be spending around 310,000 GP an hour so that brings you to anywhere from 2 mil to 2.5 mil I mean it really depends on what you're killing so if you're killing something like hell we are for four mil an hour to five mil an hour you're not making four to five mil an hour you're making two to three mil an hour and that's why it doesn't seem like you're making as much but if you're killing something like angel of death or telos then you're definitely going to want to be using this amazing gear because what's the difference like two mil is not very much different than um because if you're making 40 30, 40, 50 mil an hour, 2 mil is not really much of a difference compared to, let's say, 1 mil an hour. You're only losing, you know, 1 mil, so you'd be making 39 mil, 49 mil, or 29 mil an hour. But you really won't because you're going to get less DPS. So um, I hope that was helpful, and it, I feel like this video is kind of scattered-brained. I'm going to make 
a ramblings video later today. It'll be coming out after this one. Uh, just explaining kind of where I've been and what I've been up to. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and it kind of gave you an idea of how much you're spending when you're using this sort of stuff. And if you are, uh, if you do want to know how much you're using with full Virtus or a tier 70 or tier 88, um, feel free. I guess not really tier 88, but any other tier, then you can look in the spreadsheet that I have in the description. Uh, take your pick. Mine is going to be the most up to date, but I did want to give credit to Chi Papa and um, whoever else helped him on that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you have a great day. Follow me on social media and subscribe for more. Peace. Lions roaring in the morning sun, searching for a longer day. People feeling like the light has just come.